Hey guys, it's your girl, the Bedrock Beauty, and I'm back with another Halloween episode. And this time, we're going to try to see if these little wet and wild stencil kits work. So I got the mermaid one because I feel like it's foolproof. So hopefully, this mermaid turns out pretty cute. So the first step, I'm going to open this box up, of course. Which I don't know why they make boxes so difficult to open. So basically the little kit comes with like some little like um, I guess like paint or whatever or like eyeshadows. It comes with a black eyeliner and then it comes with this like stencils for like the scales. And that's really the most that I'm going to use out of here because like um, maybe we don't know. So first step, I'm going to start on my eyeshadow first as usual. I didn't do my brows because I think I'm going to color them in, so I'm not sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to prime our eyes using the Too Faced, what is this, Shadow Assurance. We're going to put this all over the lid. This is my first time using the Shadow Assurance, so let's see if it's, it's very smooth though. Per usual, we're going to go in with... A transitional color so I'm going to use barista from coastal sense and just a regular elf fluffy brush and we're just gonna lightly just go over our transition area it's not really this color is pretty much the same as our skin tone but it's just to to help give it a transition for the other brighter shades that we're going to be using today So I'm going to be using a combination of my Coastal Scent Shadows and the Serpentina palette. Because I always feel like I never reach for my palettes. Like I have all these palettes and I don't really reach for them. Which is why necessarily I don't like to buy them. So we're going to try to use some of these shades. Because they kind of remind me of Mermaids. At least these last uh, section. So what we're going to do. As you guys know I like to just go with however I'm feeling. Okay, so I'm going to go with Sarab or Sarabi, which is this green shade here. I'm just going to put that on the lid. Oh my God. That is pigmented. Ooh, girl. I did not know it was going to be that pigmented, guys. I don't know if it's the shadow or the shadow assurance or a combination of both. But you guys know I love Kat Von D anyway. Everything she touches turns to gold. Okay. So we got the green going on. So then what we're going to do is. So we're going to go in with Nile. Which is that blue shade here. And we're going to put that close to the inner corner. gonna take venom which is that purple color and kind of use it to blend out Okay, then we're going to go in with Pinehurst, which is this nice green color. And we're kind of going to blend it again to kind of just add a little bit of depth. I have this iridescent color called Tokyo Tea. And this is actually a Morphe shadow brush. What? This is a Morphe eyeshadow. I don't know what I was saying. Now I'm just going to try to go over Sarabi in the middle and see what color that creates. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're going to take Tokyo Tea and put it over. So I really like how, it, how it's coming together. There's a lot more pigment than I originally thought. And then just make sure you don't lose any of Nile, that blue shade. 
So this is pretty much the base for what we're going to do today. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with my brows if I want to color them. So we might just wait a little bit and see and add filling as we go. So I'm going to start with my foundation. And you guys know that I've been in love with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So I'm just going to put some on my hands. Not too much because you really don't. We're going to have a lot of other things going on in our face. So not a big layer of foundation is needed unless you're really just trying to cover up some problem areas. So we're just going to take a beauty blender and just buff that into the skin. You guys know the drill. Okay, so now we got the base going on. We're going to go ahead and highlight and all of that stuff before we start using the stencil. I'll go ahead and try to work with this stencil. So they have like a couple of stencils. So they have like little seashells and stuff on here a little sun a little dolphin i might get use out of the seashells we like maybe up in here we'll see and so we got our little uh what's it called widow's peak going and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that fluffy little coastal sense brush we was using earlier and we're gonna kind of play around with it so i'm gonna start with the blue shade Then we're gonna kind of ombre effect. So I'm gonna go in with Tokyo T to get that lighter kind of iridescent effect. And I like the idea of using the same brush for this because it kind of gives you that blended effect without actually having to blend it and just Whatever lighter colors that you have in the green family, this is Sage Sensation from Coastal Scents. We're going to use that to fill in the little small little bottom part. With glitter, you can put glitter on your face, but don't put like glitter like this, like these little glitter packs. They're okay, but don't put them on your eyes because they're probably not certified to go on your eyes. So for your face area, this should be okay. But look, if you don't feel comfortable using this, just get you some actual cosmetic glitter. So what I'm going to do is I have, I'm going to take off the, the greens and the blues off of here to kind of put that, that same kind of color of glitter. And we're going to use the Ardell Lash Adhesive. And I've been getting so much use out of this this Halloween, like... Literally, I hated this for my eyes, but for Halloween, it's really been coming in handy. So just take a little bit of it, like not too much, just enough to kind of help the glitter stick. And just randomly apply it because I'm not going to have glitter everywhere, just little hints of glitter. So just randomly apply that. Okay, so now that we got the glitter, let's see how this stencil came out. Just slowly pull the stencil. Okay, I like I like that. That's nice. So then what you can do is like, especially for me, like since I have that area of my forehead that doesn't have any like color, so you just go in with like a stipple brush and kind of blend that in up in there, up on the hairline area. And just blend out any harsh edges. So I kind of want to... You can actually try to use, you can probably use the stencil multiple times, I think, instead of me going into that other part of the stencil. So I'm just going to cut a little small little triangle off of this one that we already been using. So just add this little triangle here. Is it stick enough? Yep. So we're going to try, we're going to just do a triangle effect here. So using that same brush, we're going to just do the same color pattern but just in a smaller area. Okay, so let's slowly take this one off. Okay, here we go, here we go. So we got our scales coming together. Then we're gonna do it one last time on this side. So I do like that it has enough stickiness to use that same stencil in other areas. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and just Okay, look, you can tell that three's the charm with the stickiness of the of the stencil because now it's like hey, it's not sticking as well as it did the first two times. But this is gonna be the last go around with this. So just put that last bit of glitter. Alright, so we got our scales on our forehead going. I'm really loving that. Especially the like little hints of glitter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually contour our faces. And we're going to use this e.l.f. little um, angle brush. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use the same kind of colors that we've been using for our forehead. So we're just going to squeeze the little brush together. And go in with Nile, which is that blue shade that we've been that we started with. And just chisel like you normally would. Just using that color. And then you can kind of try to merge those your forehead together. And with this one, you don't really like normally with your hot your contour, you wouldn't want it to be so you know stark but with this we're kind of you want them to see that blue and then I don't know but this uh say sensation has been like my favorite so far like I think it's my first time actually getting a chance to use it and I've been loving the iridescent kind of thing that it's got going on yeah I love that Okay, so we got our contour going on, guys. I'll take that stencil and just align it right above that contour. So where you still have a little bit of solid. And just put that there. Okay. And this is this brush is our best friend today. So we're just going to go in. And you can be a little more heavy-handed with the colors now. And I think I want to go... We can do this. Start at the bottom. And you can kind of get as heavy handed as you want. And I think I'm actually going to add this um, color from Morphe, which is Sapphire. I'm going to add that over Nile because it's a darker, it's a darker shade. So it'll bring that contour out a little bit more. Then we're going to go with Sarab. Go ahead and take the stencil off. Oh, look at that scale contour on y'all. That is beautiful. Then we're going to do the same thing again on this side. Okay, so we got our contour going. I feel like we looking like, uh, what's her name? The mermaid, the little mermaid, Muriel, Muriel, some of that. So I'm loving it so far. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go back to the eyes and I think I'm gonna have some iridescent eyebrows because why not it's Halloween so go ahead and just live it up and actually though I don't know what I want to do like I want something going on in my nose so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in and, and I'm gonna contour my nose using that Nile color from the from the Serpentina palette just to kind of bring it together I actually like that I feel like it it really narrows my nose a lot and then what I'm gonna do is instead of highlighting that area I'm gonna go in with one of the little sections from here and we're running out of stencil like this is the last little bit of stencil that I have so I'm just gonna go and cut a little small little section and add some scales going down my nose and I'm gonna use the Tokyo color where did it go this no the sage color 
and just coat my brush in. It's not really staying down, so I'm just going to hold it. And that'll kind of act like my highlight down the bridge of my nose. And actually, I'm just adding a little bit of that sage color to the to the brow area, the brow bone area. Then what we're gonna do is, I'm really just gonna take this clear control freak um, eyebrow, like it's supposed to finish off your eyebrow, so I'm gonna do it in sections. And I don't know if it's gonna actually help the glitter stick, but we're gonna find out. So let's just go in with that glitter. So we got our eyebrow and you can still like my eyebrow is dark enough to where you can still see the eyebrow but you still get that glitter effect so we're just going to go ahead and do the other side okay, so we got our eyebrows glittered up and glammed out so now we're just going to do the finishing touches so i'm going to add some lashes we're going to go back in and we're going to highlight for the gods and then we're going to do uh, an amazing lip color and then that'll be it but so far I'm loving this stencil I feel like Ariel that's her name Ariel feeling like Ariel on you guys so let's go in got these Halloween lashes from wet and wild in the color or not color but in the style dramatic and they're really just these iridescent kind of lashes with like a sparkle or whatever on them so we're just going to put some glue on these. Okay, so we got our lashes on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my green eye. What is this? My Sephora um, Nano um, Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Chlorophyll. And we're just going to... I wasn't feeling the Sephora one, so we're going to go in with the... I think it's called Italia and honestly I got these from off Amazon a while back and these are like my favorite eyeliners they're really smooth very affordable so if you ever get a chance I'll probably put the link down below and I love this stuff so I'm gonna go in this is in the color green which is hilarious and we're just gonna go and put that in our waterline then we're gonna go in with the NYX jumbo stick and peacock right over that all right so we got that going so i have a surprise for you guys i'm super excited i've been like holding it in for the longest time so i've been talking about some new releases from bay rock cosmetics and these are two of the of my new highlighting powders or my glow powders and i'm super excited to use these in my look today so we got Fine China, which is this really white gold shade. And then we have Maryland, which is a a pinky, um, more diamond effect. So what we're going to do is, Fine China is very finely milled. So you got to be careful because there's a there'll be a lot in the lid. I put that in the inner corner. And you guys see that. I don't know if you guys, can, if it's picking up on camera. But it's just this white gold type of color and I'm actually going to add a little bit to the tip of the nose and I feel like that the shade of gold goes perfectly then we're going to add some to that upper brow bone and you guys can see is blinding then we're going to add some to the other side as well yeah okay so that was a little sneak peek of fine china which i'm not sure whether or not i'm going to actually use it to highlight i'm going to see how how maryland looks and maryland i mostly made this for people of fair skin tones i have some deeper colors for us women of color but for this mermaid look i feel like it is perfect so i'm gonna go in with the small taper brush from elf 
which is what they now call their highlighting brush. Y'all not slick. And I'm just going to add a little bit and just dust off that excess because it can get a little crazy. So we're just going to swirl that in our highlight area. And a little goes a long way, as you guys can see. It's just, and it's picking up on camera like nobody's business. Like, look, oh, look at that side, this side. Like, I feel like on, on a fair skin tone, like, this is the perfect highlight shade. But for me, it's giving me that iridescent kind of color. And then we're going to go ahead and highlight on the other side as well. And I can't wait for you guys to see the other two shades. But you know I can't give all my secrets out at once. And normally you probably wouldn't be as heavy handed as I'm being. But this is Halloween so might as well blow. And I'm going to let you guys know about release dates and all of that goodness when the time it comes so that's Marilyn on the cheeks right now I'm I was really torn about whether or not to do like a nice nude, nude lip with some iridescence but I feel like it's a bedrock cosmetics type of day so we're gonna go in with cubby which the cubs have been killing it in the postseason I'm super excited that we're the division champs right now so so of course, I'm going to rock Cubby with this beautiful green, blue, um, mermaid look we got going on today. So we're just going to put a lid on our fingers. And it has that perfect metallic iridescence to it to where it just brings the entire look together. So this is the finished mermaid look. And I'm really excited that I liked this wet and wild um stencil it's funny because we didn't even open the little like makeup palette thing that came into it this is just using the makeup that i already own the stencils do come in handy and if you guys don't want to buy the wet and wild stencils you can use um a wig cap or fishnets to kind of get this same effect and then that's those things will be way more reusable than the stencils but i do love how the stencils came out I really hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween look. A lot of my thoughts and process went into this today. And I hope you guys enjoy Halloween. Just express yourself with makeup. Don't let anybody tell you what you can and cannot do. Follow your dreams. You know, all of that good stuff. I love you guys. And I'll see y'all in the next one. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a makeup tutorial if you didn't set your makeup. So, I've been loving this um, spring thermal spring water from Avene or Alvini or whatever.